Hello, I'm Alex Hare, and I welcome you to Australian Archives, a program of musical items featuring Australian artists of note and taken from the archives. Yes, hello again, and welcome to Australian Archives. And we begin this edition of the program with George Treves' Australians, vocal by Norma Francis, from their first recording session in the Regal Zonophone Studios in Sydney on the 25th of March, 1943, and they give us Calling You Home.
And that was Stanfield Holiday at the Regent Theatre Wurlitzer. A little bit knocked about, unfortunately, but as this program is, Aussie Archives, some of the recordings uh, from uh, sources that uh, we wish we could get better copies. However, you heard it here on the program, and we hope that you weren't too distressed by that little click there towards the end. We opened the program with George Trevere's Australians, the vocalist Norma Francis, calling you home. Stanfield Holiday, by the way, played Naughty Lady of Shady Lane. Now let's move to a tune from the 70s, recorded by Melbourne's well-known singer Ron Lees. It's a beautiful piece called Romance. I hope you enjoy it. Oh! 
Rose Juniors there. Did you recognise the group? And they gave us Roll Along Covered Wagon. It was in 1949 when Swallow and Ariel Limited commissioned Irvine Productions to prepare a children's program suitable for their sponsorship. And Swallow's Juniors was the result. Successful on radio and a very successful move to television with the compere, of course, Brian Naylor. Now let's listen to the Hillbilly Singers from October 1933. Although the true identity of the two was never revealed, it was believed they were Len Maurice and Freddie Witt. When I get to the end of the way. The sands have been washed in the footprints of the stranger on Galilee shore. And the voice that subdued the rough billows will be heard in Judea no more. But the path of the long Galilean, with joy I will follow the day. And the toils of the road will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. And the toils of the road will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. There are so many hills to climb up one. I often am longing for rest. But here will point me my pathway. It shall be as my day, and the toils of the road will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. And the toils of the road will seem nothing when I get to the end of the way. Take 
There goes Jack, there goes Jim down through Lover's Lane. Now and then we meet again, but things don't seem the same. Gee, I get a lonesome feeling when I hear the church bells chime. Four wedding bells are breaking up that old gang of mine. Wedding bells are breaking up that old gang of mine. It was... Melbourne-born Barry O'Dowd actually was born in Albert Park in 1934 and Barry recorded that tune on the 14th of June 1956 directed by King Crawford in the Planet Studios and the arrangement by Bruce Clark who uh, is uh, sometimes listening to Golden Days so if you're out there Bruce, good one, very nice arrangement, enjoyed that and uh, prior to that it was the Hillbilly Singers, we believe Len Maurice and Freddie Witt in October 1933 in Sydney and uh, when I get to the end of the way. Now we go right back. It's an old timer. 26th of July 1912, recording in London, The Man in the Velvet Suit, Melbourne-born Billy Williams. Wait till I'm as old as father. Wait till I'm as old as father. I'll show my dad something. My word, I will. <laughs> I'm 16 years of age today, and I say you'll admit. I don't know much about things, but I know a little bit. I go about with Dad so much and see some sights you bet. And though I've never had a nice girl call me ducky yet, but wait till I'm as old as father, rather wait till I'm as old as dad. Just as sure as my name's Jim, I'll be doing the same as him, flirting with all the ladies. When the time comes, I'll be glad, and I'll be stopping at the office very late, just like the dear old dad. <laughs> Poor old dad. <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> when Mother Dear was once away upon her holiday, Dad took me round the town one night and he got very gay. He had some scotch and sodas, quite a dozen, I'm afraid, while I was bursting myself out on rotten lemonade. <laughs> but wait till I'm as old as father, rather wait till I'm as old as dad. <laughs> Just as sure as my name's Jim, I'll be doing the same as him, having some scotch and sodas. When the time comes, I'll be glad, and I'll go to bed with me trousers on, just like the dear old dad. <laughs> John, go and put your trousers on. <laughs> Here. <laughs> We've got a pretty nurse at home. She is a little dear. She blushes like a beetroot every time that father's near. Once I was in the nursery, it's not my proper place. But I saw father kiss her twice and call her angel face. So wait till I'm as old as father, rather wait till I'm as old as dad. <laughs> Just as sure as my name's Jim, I'll be doing the same as him, calling the nurse the angel. When the time comes, I'll be glad. And if she isn't pretty, well, I'll give her the sack. Just like the dear old dad. Wait till I'm as old as father, rather. <laughs> I'll have a good time, you bet your life I will. <laughs> I'll have all the pretty girls as nursemaids and the servants who wear, you know, those funny looking dresses. And <laughs> Wait till I'm as old as father, rather. Wait till I'm as old as dad. <laughs> okay, now what do we do on this side? I'll tell you what, you sing any song that you want. Solo, I sing No, no, alone. together. You, you name the song, though. Oh, okay. Do you know, sing a song of sixpence, pocket full of rye. My girl is coming home today to hit me in the eye because of the way I've been treating the animals down by the farm, and those animals are always coming in on our front lawn and getting it soaking wet with all the rain and everything near where we live. Blues? Will you be serious? We have a whole band just waiting here. Oh, well... All right, let's, let's just do Maggie Blues. Do you know it? No, neither do you. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Could I have an arpeggio there, old buddy? I wander today... Hold it, hold it. Or the... Hold. What? You are nowhere near the key that he is playing in. Well, that's his fault. No, no, just give us the lead note, please. Now sing that note. I, no, no, no. I, 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 I,
you. No, no, no. You. I, 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 I. That's it. Now hold it. You simply take your favorite, today. then you play the hit. But just a note or two of Maggie. blue harmony, tell the orchestra the to play staccato, below. and then you jazz a little out of the garden. Well, the Maggie and the Green is the Maggie too. Pay no attention to the music Maggie that you play, but just on the hop, you're long, long, long all the way on the spot. Start this way, come on now. Hear the broken bones go, it's so fun. All around, I hear the harmony chime. Rod Delo and Jonathan Daly. How many of you remember those fun men? They were great. On Channel 9, Channel 9 brought them out actually in the early 1960s for a four-week season and they ended up keeping them for six months. They were heard there with the Channel 9 Orchestra under the direction of legendary Arthur Young. Of course, we all remember Arthur from those great days of IMT. When you and I were young, Maggie, Delo and Daly. Before that, from 1912, Billy Williams, Wait Till I'm As Old As Father. And to our last recording in this edition of Australian Archives, from the 5th of September 1940, it's George Edwards. Uh, he was actually born Harold Parks in South Australia, and uh, he was, of course, Dad in Dad and Dave from 1937. He and his wife, Nell Sterling, commenced Dad and Dave in that year. Here's George Edwards, as Dad, singing a Jack O'Hagan composition, Snake Gully Home of Mine. Well, the dog sits on the tucker box Five miles from Gundagai It's famous, I'll admit But I don't mind a bit There's a place that's very dear to me it's Bonza Dinky Dye. It's the pink spot in this land of ours, and here's the reason why. If you looked all over Aussie, you would never find a posse like Snake Gully. For the grass is always greener, and the climate is more keener up this way. Although it's just a little town, it has gained a wide renown. And as for hospitality, this locality is just okay. You can have your Yarrawonga, you will want to linger longer in Snake Gully. As for girls, it's just a pity, they're so sweet and oh so pretty, it's a shame. All the cows give more milk, the hens lay more eggs, the sun never ceases to shine. If you looked all over Aussie, you would never find a posse like Snake Gully, home of mine. You can have your Yarrawonga, you will want to linger longer in Snake Gully. As for girls, it's just a pity, they're so sweet and oh so pretty, it's a shame. All the cows give more milk, the hens lay more eggs, the sun never ceases to shine. If you looked all over Aussie, you would never find a posse like Snake Gully, home of mine. 
Snake Gully, home of mine. George Edwards there from September 1940, bringing to a close this edition of Australian Archives. Australian Archives was conceived, prepared and produced by Alex Hare for Golden Days Radio. Thanks for listening and bye for now.